Hi guys, welcome to In 5 Minutes. Well, after understanding the evolution of IO functionality, we concluded that DMA is the next thing what we are talking about. DMA cuts off CPU from the unneeded transfer and handles the entire transfer on its own, offloading the CPU and handling the IO management on itself. So let's try to understand how exactly DMA would work. Now, in DMA, there is a block diagram for it. DMA majorly consists four blocks, which includes data count, which is a counter, which will keep track of how much data is transferred, how much is needed to, and how much, because of which we can understand how much time it would take for the transfer. I'm sure many of you might have copied data from one to another disk. In that we see a timer which says three minutes require, four minutes require. Data count would be basically used to get that information as well as understand how much bytes of data one needs to transfer. Data register. Now this register would be used to store data partly so that data would be bought to it then transfer to the destination. So maybe we can understand this way that the source transferring data to the data register and then forward it back to the destination where it is supposed to reach another thing which can be used is address register address register will clearly informs you where exactly your two things are that includes the source from where you are maybe reading the data and in some cases needed the destination where we are supposed to copy the data. In some cases it may also be address of the IO because that would give me the basic info. Some port, some address, some IP from where we can do. Remaining stuff is the control logic which would be talking about start and stop of your DMA. Let's try to see in detail what they have. Whenever some device would request for IO DMA that would come across the pin request to DMA. When the DMA accepts the request, it would fire the acknowledgement, which will inform the driver that it is ready. Then the read write would happen. When CPU is needed to come into picture for authorization or clearance, that's the time DMA will interrupt the CPU and informs it that it is ready or the work has been over. That's the reason many a times if we see after transfer getting over, it takes a fraction of second on screen to shift or rather close down the copy or the move box because that's the time your DMA is communicating with the CPU, informing CPU that the transfer is over. 